For many people in North Dakota, winter means it's hockey season. And for a family in Minot, hockey is more than just a wintertime activity. It's a way of life. KX News' Kiara Brown is live now to tell us more about the Morelli family. Hello, Kiara. Good afternoon, Joel. And that's right, hockey is North Dakota's most loved sport. But for the Morelli family in Minot, it's in their blood and has been played at some of the highest levels for generations. This week, Mason Morelli made headlines as he became the first person from the Magic City to take the ice in the NHL. This is a dream come true for Mason and the Morelli family, but this dream all started with Mason's grandpa, Reginald Morelli. Reginald, or Reggie Morelli, was one of the most influential players to ever take the ice at the University of North Dakota. He's most famous for scoring the overtime game-winning goal in the NCAA National Championship game, securing UND's first national title in 1959. Reggie is still honored to this day at the Ralph Inglestead Arena for his impact both on and off the ice. His passion for hockey and life was passed down to both of his sons, Pat and Matt Morelli. Matt Morelli, Mason's dad, followed in Reggie's footsteps and went on to play for UND. The hockey gene continued to be passed down through the Morelli family with Mason, Matt's oldest son, playing for Minot High School, the Minotauros, and the University of Omaha, Nebraska. Mason then went on to start his semi-professional hockey career in the AHL and was signed last year to his first professional deal with the Las Vegas Golden Knights. Mason made his first appearance in the NHL just this last Monday, making history. But it doesn't even stop there. Mason's little brother, Mackley Morelli, currently plays for Minot High. The Magicians are in Fargo right now, getting ready to compete for the state title. And Pat Morelli's son, Aiden Morelli, currently plays hockey for Botano College and is in his second year. It's been a whirlwind of a week for the Morellis as they traveled to San Jose and Vegas to watch Mason in his first NHL appearances. They flew back home to Minot just last night and took off to Fargo to support Mackley in his quarterfinal game. And the cherry on top of this legacy is the Morellis influence off the ice. Not only are they some of the greatest people you'll ever meet, but Pat and Matt Morelli also own Morelli Distributing and are the Coors Light distributors, distributors for the Minot area. It doesn't get much more North Dakota than that, Joel. Kiara, thank you so much. Meanwhile, Mason Morelli will be on the ice with the Knights again this evening at 9 o'clock, and Minot High will face off with Fargo North this evening at 8.